a gloomy end to the work week as we have had overcast skies throughout the day and we have had some precipitation around today as well. And on the Great Falls Clinic eye cam, you can see those overcast skies. We have had rain around for the past several hours in the Electric City and can still see some of that moisture on the camera right now. Taking a look at some of the cameras throughout central Montana, we are seeing some rain in Helena as well as over in Malta. In the higher elevations, including in Monarch Canyon, we are seeing some snow. And in Lewistown, especially along the Lewistown Divide, we kind of have a mix of rain and snow around right now. And as we take a look at satellite and radar, a lot of this morning was actually dry. There were a few rain and snow showers around, but most of us were dry, but the precipitation did become more widespread this afternoon and this evening. And we have had widespread light to moderate rain around in the lower elevations with light to moderate snow around in the higher elevations. This precipitation has not amounted to all that much, but will definitely take whatever moisture we can get. Now, as we head into tonight, this precipitation is actually going to taper off and a lot of locations for a decent chunk of tonight are just going to be overcast and dry, but there will continue to be some scattered rain and snow showers around with primarily rain in the lower elevations and snow in the higher elevations. And as we go through tonight, the blizzard is going to begin to develop in eastern Montana as well. They have had some rain around today, but that rain will mix in with and switch over to snow as we go through tonight and then for tomorrow in eastern Montana and in North Dakota, we are going to have some nasty weather with strong winds and heavy snow. So we are going to have blizzard conditions. Definitely avoid traveling in that area of the state if you can. For those of us in central Montana, there will be scattered rain and snow showers around throughout the day tomorrow. That precipitation will taper off as we head into tomorrow night and the skies will begin to clear as well. And then we will have partly cloudy skies for your day on Sunday. In terms of snow accumulation in the lower elevations in north central Montana, really not expecting all that much, but in the higher elevations, we could see a few more inches of snow accumulation, especially in the Little Belt and Big Belt Mountains, as well as in the Snowy Mountains. We're also expecting a lot of snow accumulation in the eastern part of Montana, where at least a half a foot of snow is expected in most spots. And in Valley County, we could see a couple inches of snow accumulation during the day tomorrow and tomorrow night as well. We also do have a blizzard warning in effect for eastern Montana and a winter storm warning in effect for southwestern Montana. Also winter weather advisory in effect for portions of our viewing area, including the higher elevations in Cascade County, Fergus County, Judith Basin County, and Mar County, where two to 10 inches of total snow accumulation is expected. Southern Valley County is also under a winter weather advisory where we could see a couple inches of snow accumulation as we go through the next couple of days. The wind is also going to begin to pick up tonight, especially in east central and eastern Montana after midnight. And then for tomorrow, we are going to have some nasty wind around in the eastern part of the state. Wind gusts over 50 miles per hour are going to be possible at times with sustained wind speeds between 15 and 35 miles per hour. And it will be breezy for the rest of us with sustained wind speeds between 10 and 25 miles per hour and gusts up to 40 miles per hour are possible at times. Tonight, lows are going to be in the 30s in most locations. Then tomorrow, high temperatures are going to be in the 40s and lower 50s in most spots.